Greetings hobbyists, this is our Sons of Vool. And in this video I'm going to talk you through all of the solutions possible for the annoying Blender 4 Add Modifier menu. So if there's one issue with Blender 4 it is this. The Modifier menu is an annoyance and I have talked through one of the solutions before for this. But since then a few more have come up so I thought I'd mention them all. The first is free to download, I'll put a link for all of the add-ons here in the description. And all we need to do is install that and that is called the old modifier menu. Save our preferences and all that does is just simply add the old modifier menu here. So if you're used to that and that layout, that's gonna be really useful. I should add that while I say this is free, there is also a paid for version. It is a massive 51 cents. And Blue Nile 3D, the creator, has really nicely kept both versions available. So if you want the version I'm showing here, it is still free, so you can download that freely, or you can download the one that is, well, half a dollar, which gives you some extra options. For example, you can customize your menus so that you've only got certain menus available, or you can set it up as a pie menu and you can customize that as well. So some nice options for a very cheap price. You can also do some cool things like put the menu button where you want it, either in the normal pace or in places like the status bar or at the heading at the top or in the T menu. So some quite fun things if it's gonna improve your workflow. The only issue with this is that it doesn't have the search function which is one of the actual only positive things I can tell about the new add modifier. So for example, I could type in weld and it will come up there. So pretty good, especially if you're used to where those locations are, but there are some negatives to it. The next one I want to mention, and to do this, I'm gonna actually go into my preferences and turn off hard ops for this so you can see it a little bit more clearly, is that for any of these modifiers, either in the old menu or in the new one, I can right click on it, for example, let's go with the solidify modifier, and I can add to my quick favorites. What that will mean is that if I come to this and press Q, then I've got those that have been added to my quick favorites here. So for example, I've got remesh and solidify, and then I can use those as I want. Nice, quick, easy way of putting that in. And usefully, I don't even need to come over to the modifier panel for that, but you're only gonna to want to put in your probably most used there. However, I do have a slight issue with this, and that is that I use hard ops a lot. If I turn that back on and save my preferences, if I press Q now, that is the hard ops menu, so it's suddenly less efficient. I'm gonna have to press Q and then Q again, and it's got all of my other hard ops favorites in as well, as well as my modifiers, and it's not really clear which ones are which. So I'm not a huge fan of that. In fact, I'm actually going to come and remove that from my quick favorites and remove that from my quick favorites. But you just do that by coming in right clicking and doing as you want. So for me, I think the best of both worlds is this final add-on, which is called Favorite Modifiers, and you can get this in Blender Market. It does cost you a dollar. I think that's because that's the minimum purchase you have to have. And effectively, that makes your quick favorite menu, as you'd normally have with your Q key, except for it comes into your Add Modifiers, which is quite a nice place for it to be because that's where you assume it's gonna be. To use this, all you do is install it as normal, activate it here, and then what's really cool about this is you click the drop down menu and it's got all of those modifiers that you might normally use. Exactly the same as the old menu, but you just click on the ones that you want as your favorites. So for example, I don't use Boolean because I use ball tools, but I will use the array, decimate, edge split, multi-resolution, remesh, screw, solidify, triangulate, weld. Actually, do I use triangulate a lot? Probably not. And the curve displacement hook and then the shrink wrap modifier. So those are the ones that I typically use most regularly, save my preferences, and now if I go to the Add Modifier menu, you can see all of those are at the bottom, making them nearly as easy to access as if they're in the Quick Favorites menu, but a lot more clearly noted as modifiers. And what I like about this is it keeps the icons that I'm used to seeing, and I can still, if it's not one of the ones that I want in this menu, just start typing in, for example, bevel, and then it will be able to use that. So I would say that to me, this is the best of both worlds, narrowly beating out that old modifier menu version two, just because I want to be able to have the ability to type into search for my other modifiers that I might not have on that favorite list. But there's not much in it, and to be honest, for $1.51 total, I might actually end up having both. Because if there's one thing I love, it's having a pie menu. So hopefully that's given you a few options to solve this annoying issue that there is in Blender 4. Do let me know in the comment section if there's one that you think you're gonna to prefer to use, or especially if you actually use one of these currently and why you like it maybe more than the other options. It really helps other people to know what options are out there and what different people think, not just me. Have a great day, guys.